am Monica energizing you to be fit, healthy, happy, and free. I'm here in nature where I love to be, relaxing and also exercising. And I decided to share some of these moves for your hips, for your waist, and even for your adductors and even your back. So it's a short workout for you to get fit in less than 90 days, which is my new program. I don't know when you're watching this, but in, in any case, connect with the links below and remember to subscribe, yes, and notify yourself with the little bell um, so that you know which videos are coming up next and I'm gonna be uploading new and optimized videos. So yeah, I thank you for being here with me and I love to share what my passion is in fitness and really, really help you. So yeah, I want you to watch the video first and then you're gonna do it with no weight at all and then you're gonna add weight in any case. We're gonna start with our legs together and we're gonna lie down sideways like this and we're gonna work our hips, okay? The abductors, I want you to uh, turn out like this and don't go backwards, don't go on your tummy either. I want you to stay like really, really um, aligned with your side and I want you to lift and lower eight times. Okay, that's really, really, really simple. But this is like my favorite exercise. The breathing is gonna be natural, just like in yoga. Okay, that's two, we're gonna do eight. And what's fabulous about this beautiful exercise is that it's working our waist at the same time that it's working our abductors and our adductors, okay? The inner thigh is working too. Wow, I think I did four, right? Well, <laughs> in any case, um, the number of reps and sets, it's gonna depend all on your exercise prescription. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I help myself with the music, if I have music in the background or if I'm teaching with music, because it always gives me the cue to change. So if I did less or more, I think I did a little bit more. But anyways, that was eight reps and that was pretty simple, huh? We're gonna do it on the other side. Remember, watch the video first. Uh, here's my microphone. Gotta get a wireless, but this is really good. So thank you. Um, and now I'm going sideways, yes like this, and there's many ways. You could actually lie down completely also and just lift your legs. That's another way. I'm gonna do it the same way I did it on the other side, too. I'm gonna do eight, right? Three, four, five, feeling this, six, seven, and eight. Feels really good, fantastico. Okay, wonderful. Okay, as you progress, you can add weights to it. So we're gonna do a variation of this. Instead of lifting both legs at the same time, we're just gonna work our abductors, which are our outer thigh, like our hips, and we're gonna use one dumbbell. Okay, you could start with no weight at all, two pounds, this is like four. Like I said, first watch it with no weight, is, is the second time you're gonna watch it, like doing this same thing without any weight. And then when, when this gets easy, then you're gonna do the reps, eight or 12, with the weight, not here, not over there, like here, okay? So not too close to your knee, but it all depends also what kind of training you're doing. Three, I like to place my weight right here, a little bit lower than the hip bone, because I feel the weight there. and. Can you see it? Five, six, seven, and eight. Feels so good. I love it. Great. And before I do stretches, that's, I, that's funny because I usually record the video in English first and then the Spanish one, but we're going to do this a little bit different. I, I was doing the stretch. Go to the other side and then I'll do the stretches, okay? So, here we are sideways. One, the lower leg is gonna be bent like this. It's gonna be flex knee. And we're gonna straighten up this one and we're gonna go up eight times. One, two, three, four, four more. Five, six, seven, and eight. Feels really good. Okay, the thing about mm, watching the video first is because there's many details that need to be put in place in order for you to do the exercise correctly so the execution cannot be like like that you know i'm not aligned nor like this because that'd be something different you actually have 
on the first exercise like this. Hello, but you see my shoes. Sometimes you see my feet, okay? Got it? So it's sideways, sideways, okay? Very sideways. Like if you had a straight line, like a stripe, it would go all the way up here from your foot, okay? Really important. Same on the other side. Down on your tummy, not on your to work okay this is how it works in the same with the other exercise <laughs> and I'm here like hello beautiful mwah, mwah. love nature and I also love being vegan I've been vegan for seven years now and I never going back because we've got to preserve our planet nature and our resources never too late so anyways here we go for the stretches how do I stretch my hips after these exercises? Especially if you do three to four sets, you're gonna feel pain and you're gonna feel kind of fatigued. So we wanna stretch out, like if, it, if I just finished this, then I would stretch out here by flexing my knee on top and then like that, you know? Ah, yummy. I love being in nature and you can't see it now, although one day I'm gonna show you what I'm watching right now, the sky, some trees over, overhead like they're interlacing beautiful and of course you could do this for as long as you want <laughs> I could stay there for many minutes and of course on the other side too okay so if, if I just finished uh, this the hip like here then I would flex it here and I could lie down like, oh. I like to do this on my bed too. It's a really fabulous exercise to keep your back very limber and flexible and young and just woo, functional, okay? I'm gonna show it to you this way so that you see it, okay? This is what we did, ta-da, basically. You can start here and then as you progress, you go down lower and ah, <laughs> you lie down, okay? That's what it is. And you could also do the modification, which is with both knees together. Okay, what am I doing? I'm kind of get, getting tangled here. But okay, it's here. Also with your arms. Parallel? Parallel to what? I mean, parallel to the thighs, basically. And perpendicular to your body. Feels so freaking good. Woo, love it. to stretch out yeah it's amazing how much stretching we're not doing many of us uh, we, we need to stretch more and it doesn't have to be a yoga class but like do it consistently even between exercises it's fabulous mm, I love it love it love it love it love it oh it feels so freaking good okay <laughs> I see that we've been for eight minutes uh, and I want to give you more value even more in this video so that you have exercises that you can do outside inside whenever you want whenever you have some minutes around 10 minutes is more than enough to work your hips do these stretches uh, you you see that we work the adductors and the hips too when we we're lifting our legs there okay how about some exercises for your abs to get those defined firm and especially functional and strong abs you need to do some planks okay so what are we gonna do here besides untangling myself you see planks are good for that you know I just did a side plank <laughs> just just uh, in my daily living in my daily recording living you know it's like okay to get untangled you actually have to do a side plank and there's many ways of doing that okay and I'm just trying to give you the most uh, show for the least time and the least space because that's funny I have some rocks right here so I can't expand too much but it feels really good to have this beautiful sacred space in nature to just share with you what I love to do myself and it makes me feel really good to move my body and just have that freedom of movement so let's do planks the ones that I was planning on doing which are like a sequence okay we're gonna start with the easiest one which is like this you're lying on your 
Let's not call it stomach. Let's not call it belly. Let's call it abs because you've got abs. And if you can't see your abs, then it's time for us to talk and then I can help you <laughs> to get them firm and functional and, and good looking too, okay? So this is number one plank. Just lift right there. You see my knees are on the ground and you could stay here as many seconds as you can, but it all depends. I'm not prescribing in this video. I'm just showing you some of my moves. <laughs> and then of course, in, in the courses, of course in the course, I will tell you exactly what you need to do. That's more specific, but right here. Okay. Now, you know, this is one. Number two would be without having the knees supported. So you're on your feet, on your toes like this. Okay. And number three is actually up here as if you're going to do a push up. Okay. Feels amazing. I love it. Got it. The other way is doing the opposite. It's like, okay, try to do a typical plank and then the modifications are going down in intensity. Okay. So that's another way of seeing things. I usually that people are like, this is freaking easy. This is really easy. <laughs> What's the matter with me? <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like really love the angels that just came a few seconds ago. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I do believe in angels. What do you believe in? I believe in, in kindness. I believe in many amazing things. And this is one of the modifications that you can do, of course, but those are functional exercises for another video. Anyway, you have the typical plank here, right here, abs in. Okay. Next, if this is a little too hard, you could have one knee, another knee, two knees, okay, and you extend like that, and then you could do this. You see, I even gave you more modifications. All right, and just this. So it's this, 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 and something in between. <laughs> All right, I made this a little bit longer than the video in Spanish. But yeah, I think I covered everything that I had planned and I do have scripts in my courses. So it's all, I want to have it in text, in audio, in video. So you can have multimedia learning because we all learn in different ways. And sometimes we need the exact explanation of how to execute an exercise, how to eat right. It's really simple for us to look at a bunch of videos on the internet and think we know how to eat. But what pertains to you is more specific and it's really going to depend on what you want. What do you want? What do you desire? But anyways, for this video in particular, I want you to tell me in the comments, okay, what you like the most about this little workout? Uh, what do you do for your hips, your adductors, your waist? What do you do in nature? That's a good one. And do you have any ideas for my new videos? Because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? But I do have a plan in six months and I know what I'm going to have for you. But I love considering every single uh, one of your suggestions. So thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Make it an awesome day or night. Mwah. Love you guys. Kisses and hugs. Bye.